Well, the next few days could bring changes to Texas law. Today is the first day state lawmakers can vote on specific bills that have passed out of committees. And KXAN is joined, we're joined by Alicia N. So tell us what's going on at the Capitol when it comes to some of these key bills. Good morning, Sophia. You know, by law, the legislature cannot vote on any bills for the first 60 days uh, unless it's one of the emergency items from the governor. But now that those 60 days are over, uh, the Senate has a full agenda and can now pass those bills that have made it out of committee. And we did want to give you a better idea of what some of these bills are regarding. One bill they could vote on would be to name FM 685 in Pflugerville after Travis County Senior Deputy Jessica Hollis. Now, she was killed last September when flash floods swept away her patrol car in West in Travis County. Another bill would ban the sale of e-cigarettes to minors. Right now, there are no restrictions on that, and if it passes, it would make the penalty the same as selling regular cigarettes, up to a fine of about $500. And Senate Bill 149, it would change the requirements to graduate from high school. Now, right now, you can't receive a diploma if you have not passed the STAR test. That's the standardized test given in every Texas public school. The bill would allow students to still get their diploma but only after a meeting with the school principal, counselor, teachers, and of course the parents. They would then be able to decide whether or not a student should graduate. And coming up in the next 30 minutes, I'm going to tell you about some bills regarding changes to laws for gun holders throughout the state of Texas. And we're also going to take an in-depth look at how some of these bills have a better chance of passing this year than they have in years past. We'll have that all new in the next 30 minutes. For now, we're live outside the Capitol. Alicia Inns, KXAN News. And later this